there and welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Camilla. And today I wanted to do a vlog. Oh, that's nice. Well, anyways, in this vlog I wanted to um, show some um, different things from uh, yesterday actually as well as today. Um, I will be going out skating with my daughter Clara because she just recently picked up an interest of skating and uh, I had to clean my windows yesterday and then today we went to the skate park with Clara again in uh, actually the town I grew up in and I will be doing folding some laundry and just hanging out with Gilbert my beagle dog just the usual stuff and for those of you who do follow along on my let's play the Apple 2 series no worries I, I have plans to, to make more episodes it's just that in between education and my computer being really sorry about having team teams on it uh it's it's kind of hard but but i will figure it out and i will uh end that series as well <sighs> jesus i'm rambling if you want to go through the day with me well then keep watching It takes forever to get Gilbert to come along with me. Oh, well, he's down here. Oh, you can't see him. So uh, we need to get back to Clara because I promised I would just go for a short walk and then we would come back and see some more of her tricks on the skateboard. It's really amazing. She started skating yesterday and now she can go downhill and everything. So I'm kind of proud of her as a mom would be. guys so now that we are done skating I really want to get my windows clean Gilbert is making sounds in the background thinking he, he needs to get some treats right now but um, I wanted to get my windows clean because honestly it's really bad you almost can't look out of them anymore so uh, I just thought I would uh, take you along for a little time lapse of me uh, cleaning some of our windows enjoy Someone really wants a treat, right, Gilbert? Boop, boop, boop. Cutie. Mm, cutie. Hello. Oh. Trying to look all cute for mom. I actually got a package today in the mail because I had ordered some clothes from H&M for Clara and one piece for me, which is this dress, um, cottony dress. It's, uh, it's not that long, it's a short dress with these sort of uh, <clears throat> white arms in it. 
And it was actually pretty, I was pretty um, disappointed when I tried it on because I'm a size, what we call here in Denmark, 44 on the bottom in pants, which I think translates to a size 14 in US sizes. And on top I'm a size um, 42 or sometimes only 40 because I don't have that huge of, um, you know, assets in the front. And um, that would translate roughly to a size um, 10 or 12 in the US sizes. But this is a size 14 in US sizes and it's too, it's almost too tight uh, around my rib cage, which is kind of weird because that's where I'm normally a size uh, 12 or even 10 and this is a size 16 so that was kind of a bummer. I do think that I, I tried it over my shirt and if I don't have a shirt or an undershirt as I do on it will just exactly fit me but I like my clothes to be you know I like to move freely so yeah we'll just have to see. Well anyways I wanted to show um, the things I got for Clara. I got all these, um, you know, cotton organic shirts, long sleeve, because she needed those. And I have, um, I have a rose, dusty rose one, and a black one, and a grey one. It's really nice. It's really nice and um, soft. Uh, I wish they made them for grown-ups with this sort of high neck, because I always get really cold up here, but. They, they usually just make them with the low cut here. And then uh, this dark blue one. And Clara, she um, she actually likes, uh, what do you call it? The goth kawaii style. And I did try to buy her something, but in her age, she's 11, it, it seems to change so fast because then it wasn't goth kawaii anymore. Then it was more just like goth or what I would consider punk. So yeah, she said she only wanted basic shirts. So that's what I got her. Oh, and there's a, a white one as well. Yeah. And then I got her 20 pairs of underpants, undergarments, panties. I don't know what you call them in, in English, but it's just, you know, what do you call them? Uh, it's uh, what's it called? Hipsters. It's, it's the ones that, um, you know, with a little leg and some, um, some just some, uh, what do you call, socks, yeah, a lot of socks, nothing special about those, I think it says NYC on some of them, I always find it so ridiculous to have, have clothes with a, a town name on them, what if I ran around with this, my own town name on my clothes, yeah, or something that said Copenhagen, I, I it's just, it seems strange to me, and then I got, what is this? Yeah, I got myself some underwear as well. Just, you know, totally standard. Lots of underwear for me. And I will say, I'm not, I'm not a, a kind of person that I, I think about the environment. I know that uh, H&M is fast fashion, but I'm the kind of person who will literally, literally wear my clothes until there's holes in it. And I say, okay, right, I need to get a new shirt or a new, pair of shoes and new underwear so I wear my clothes till it's all worn out shabby with holes in it and barely keeping together because yeah I was never that into fashion I gotta admit uh, it's not my forte you could say yeah so I just wanted to do a quick haul of all of the things that I got for Clara
now left the skating run because my parents actually live in this town we're at. It's where I grew up. So uh, I'm going to go down to my parents' place and get a cup of coffee. Uh, but my parents are kind of old school, so they don't want to be on YouTube. So obviously I'm going to respect their, their wishes. Little bird. He tangled. Look. Can you tell? Oh. Gilead. Jesus. Well, but as I was saying, my parents are pretty old school. And uh, they're not interested in being on YouTube, so I won't be able to film once I get down there. And obviously I'm going to respect the wishes. So Gilbert and I are just going to go down to my childhood home. I just quickly wanted to show that this is a bus stop where I got off the bus when I came home from school every day um, when I was a child. And this is the road I was taking. And when we turn the corner, that will be my uh, childhood neighborhood. Fun. And uh, once you go down this road, it will be on the, your second turn to your left, will be my parents' road. Or street, it's not a road, I realize. Will be my parents' street. And then uh, they're right on the corner of that street. So yeah, just wanted to show my childhood neighborhood. Jesus, I don't know how anyone manages to accumulate all those that laundry, but um, somehow we managed to do it anyway. Yeah, so I basically just wanted to round things off. I hope you had a wonderful time following along in my day and yesterday. So I'll just see you guys in the next video. Bye!